Hi everybody, welcome back to Vox Res. In today's video we're going to be removing the gearbox from the now defunct Astra engine. Uh, don't forget to like, share and subscribe down below. Keep your comments coming and I hope you enjoy. Right, a little bit of improvisation needed now. <clears throat> I'm going to get that on the trolley beside the other one. So, I think what I'm going to do is cut this plank up. And then try and uh, drop the engine down and slide it over, manhandle it over. That's the plan. side of things is going to work very well because the gearbox is on it at this end it's um, a bit top heavy so what I'm going to do is put the trolley jack under the gearbox to support it um, get this strap off certainly this purple one probably all with it for now and um, get the gearbox off Hiya. Oh, it is, mate. Tell me about it. Yeah, yeah. I bought it as a project car back in March. Thought it was tap hits and one or two other things. It turns out it's bottom end. So there's a bit of playing two of the pistons. So I've got book Friday off. Think, oh, I've got bank holiday weekend. I've had loads of problems, plus this heat. You have to, I come out and do about half an hour. I have to go and sit indoors with a cold drink for half an hour. So it's hampered me a little bit, so I haven't got quite as far as I'd hoped, but we'll get there. <laughs> nah, nah. I just want to try and get the gearbox off so I can get this one on the trolley as well, then I can wheel it all in the garage and uh, crack on another day. Yeah, trying to get done so I can have a sit in the garden for a couple of hours before going back to work tomorrow. <laughs> So, let's have a little chat with one of the neighbours about the weather and what I'm doing. Everyone just agrees it's too hot, but we shouldn't complain because it'll probably be frosty in about four weeks' time. But um, I'm just going to take that off. I'm going to try lifting it back one strap, see what happens. Put that back in the bin out to support it. I might use two straps again to put it back in, um, but what I'm just trying to do now is just um, get this gearbox off. Obviously, I couldn't get the gearbox off without strapping the way. So I'm just going to pump it up again a little bit just to support it. Get the right hand up. <clears throat> So there's a few bolts to get out around here. Um, but hold the gearbox to the engine. All different sizes, obviously. 
Yeah, so there's a Torx bit in there. There's one, two, three bolts the same size there. And there's another one in there from that side. The same over the other side of the engine. And then obviously the starter motor um, around here. So just give you a quick shot of what I'm going to do. So, as I say, there's quite a few bolts that hold this um, this engine together. So, I've got to take the starter motor off. Starter motor off. So, there's a nut there with an earth strap on it. Another bolt there. Um, that would probably allow the starter motor to come off. It's probably just those two. A bit of wiring to come off here. So, that's the lower feed. And that's the feed to the solenoid valve. Obviously, it's earthed through the engine. Um, so, there's a big bolt there. Big bolt there. Um, and there's another one there holding that bracket on. You can see that under there. Another one there, another one there. And then moving round, if I can get round here, I've just hit my head on the crane. Knocked some sense into me. Um, so, yeah, one there, um, one there. And then there's a torx bit in there. I don't know if you can see that right in there. And there's a nut on the back of it. Just there. So I think that's it. So uh, I'm going to crack on and do that. So just a little interesting um, thing here. Um, this uh, this bolt here was the earth wire on the um, for the starter motor. Um, and it's also one of the fixing bolts, so the earth lead was on there, clamped on with that nut, and then this is actually a stud that goes through the uh, the starter motor and into the gearbox to hold the starter motor on, so just interesting, it's just not a normal nut. That off. Um, for those of you who don't know how a starter motor works, basically on this big terminal is a positive feed from the battery, so it's a live feed on there all the time. And then on this smaller terminal um, goes a little wire from the ignition system, so from where you turn the key on and off. And what happens is, <coughs> as you put power onto there, obviously it's earth through the case through the engine. As you put power onto that little terminal there, in here is a solenoid, like an electromagnet. It fires forward, makes contact, puts the big main voltage with the big bit cable onto your starter motor, so it spins it up really, really fast. And then, if you can see in here, this bit here, this gear, flies forward that way and um, engages with the teeth on the back of the flywheel, which you will have seen when we did the clutch. Uh, if I remember, I'll show you that later on. Um, and that's how starter motor works. So when you turn the key on, you're not actually putting power straight on the motor. You're putting power onto the solenoid. Solenoid fires forward, fires that gear, which engages with the uh, um, flywheel, gears on the flywheel, and also there's a contactor in there that puts the main big power from this lead straight from the battery onto the motor to turn the engine over and hopefully start it. You never know, one day we might see that happen with this car again so they put the start motor somewhere safe on the trolley I think in the spares with the car box
see the gearbox has actually just fallen off almost. I guess this is going to be quite heavy. But not as heavy as an engine. And there we have the gearbox. Off the car. Oh, it is very heavy. <laughs> Time for a quick break again, I think. Right guys, I think I'm going to call it a wrap for this episode. Um, three days work into one episode. Um, all the problems along the way, it's taken a bit longer than I'd hoped, but um, got there in the end, got the engine out. Um, had a bit of the gearbox all spillage, so I need to uh, clear that up, put that away, or tidy that up, put some sand on it or something. Put the engine onto the trolley, get it all put back in the garage. Um, it's getting on five o'clock now. It's very hot, I'm very hot, I'm very dirty, and I've got work in the morning, so I'm going to clear this up and have a chill out and a couple of cold beers. So, catch you in the next episode. Thanks for watching. Take care.